Hey there. I'd like to share the quick and cheapest and easiest way to find a bad LED light on a grow light. This is one of my older grow lights. It's a Mars Hydro system. I've had this thing for years. I just keep fixing it. So you need a couple things to be able to do this. So I got this old grow light here and it's got a section out here. Go ahead and show you this. It's going to be a little blinding for the camera. And as you can see, this one isn't lighting up all the way. I'll turn that off before it blinds me. I'd like to show you the cheapest way to be able to fix this. You don't need any kind of tools or anything. The first thing is pretty much optional. It depends on how much you value your eyes, but it's a pair of LED sunglasses. And I got these because, well, I'm blind and I wear glasses. Fit right over my glasses just like so. And yeah, it's optional. You don't need, necessarily need that. The second thing is just a simple wire. You'd also use, uh, these are wire clippers, a uh, pair of needle nose pliers, anything made out of steel that'll conduct. Also, it's just a thing of warning. Make sure you're on a DC power, not AC. Um, most LEDs don't run off AC, but you may want to know that little bit about what you're doing. <laughs> and yeah, full disclaimer, I'm not responsible for you getting electrocuted. So yeah, I got my simple wire, both ends are stripped. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna go through each row, basically trying to find bad LED. And just to prove to you guys that this won't harm you. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's direct current. Uh, it's only about, I think it's about 60 volts. It's not, not gonna hurt me. And I go ahead and take my wire here and start testing through on all the lights that aren't on. I'm gonna short them out. Basically go by positive and negative, nothing, positive, negative, nothing, nothing, nothing on that one. Nothing on that one, nothing on that one, that one's good. And there we go. We have our bad LED right there. That one definitely needs to replaced. So I'll go ahead and turn it off so I'm not being blinded here. Uh, let's see, four and two, yeah, over four down down to the second row, so I gotta replace that there, easy. So now that I know where the bad LED is, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of flex on there, and that'll just help me get it off faster. This makes my life easier. For this board, I will be using these LEDs. They're uh, just little five watt chips, but perfect match for this board. And they're also uh, full spectrum, so I got all, all the spectrum I'll need off there, and most of the ones I'll end up replacing are uh, solid blue. Unfortunately, they didn't give adequate cooling to keep the blue ones from cooking themselves on this particular model. They don't even sell these anymore. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and unsolder that LED. Got the old one off. Yeah, you can see uh, she cooked her whole uh, lens off the thing. So that one's done. Now I just gotta put the LED on there in the correct orientation. It's a little slot on one side of these. That's basically the negative side. So it ended up going on just like so. Also want to apply just a drop of thermal paste there. And I pretty much just solder it on just like this. All right, now I'm just gonna take a paper towel and kind of clean up the area. Put my uh, glasses back on here. Nice, and she's lighting up, cool. And this can basically be done to any LED bulb. Of course, some of them are a little bit different. The tabs aren't on the side, they're underneath. But same concept applies. You can short them out if they're kind of strung together like Christmas lights, and then it's gonna light up the rest of the row for you. Hopefully you found this video useful. Until next time, have a great day.